I'm Jay Rico 85 says I'm all about blaming Kyle as well for training injuries, but if he were to be fired, who would step up? Who can we find to take Kyle's job? Well, it's a problem because they just let a good coach leave in Robert Sala. But if they were to get rid of Kyle, it would be someone with a background of developing young quarterbacks. Kyle doesn't have that background. Someone who's done it before. There's a guy in Buffalo right now, that offensive coordinator, Brian Dayball. He just did a great job developing Josh Allen, maybe someone like him. And I ideally, when you have a quarterback like Trey Lance, that's a that's a uh, a an attractive job. A lot of coaches might want that project. Good question. I don't know how to pronounce that. It says maybe the Niners should move training camp to somewhere else like Arcata or Santa Cruz. Maybe the cooler conditions can help mitigate these injuries. They've been practicing here since the early 90s, right? Yeah, they used to practice up in Rockland, which was actually very hot. It wasn't cool. It was very hot. And I don't remember there being a lot of injuries at Rockland. No, uh, I don't remember there being a lot of injuries when Harbaugh was the coach uh, at the same place. Okay, next question. Do you think the Niners will depend on the rookies or free agents more if injuries continue? Also a huge fan. Keep up the great work. Thank you. It seems like, I mean, Tavarius Moore went down. They signed, the Niners signed a 29-year-old safety who hasn't played in two years because he tore his ACL. I mean, you just kind of get the guys who are on the street. The guys who are on the couch. The guys who are on the couch. The couch potatoes who aren't in great shape and they can get hurt too. It's yeah. not easy. It's not easy. But good thing the Niners have a lot of draft picks coming up next year. I'm sorry. I'm negative. I'm negative. Reese Cup J says, huge fan of you and your pops. Thank you. Do you think Jed has enough in him to let Kyle go? And if so, who could be a good coach possibly available for this team? Okay, it's way too soon to, to talk about letting Kyle go. You have to see how this season goes, how the season progresses. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to know a lot more about Kyle after this season. If he has a Bafo season, God love him. Yeah. If he has a lot of injuries and he finishes one game under 500, I would I would put him on the hot seat. Yeah, and I think the reason people are upset isn't because the season is screwed. It's just a bad start, and it's it's like, are we going down the same road as last year? Because I don't have right. patience for that anymore, and I don't have sympathy for it. You yeah, can't we gave keep him, using the same excuse every year. People gave him a pass on it last season. You don't yeah. get a second pass. Yeah, you're you supposed don't. to have done something to change right. something. Thomas says, I heard they were both injured by Kinlaw and that he picked them both up and carried them around in his mouth. Thank you, Thomas. See, people like that start rumors. It's not okay. That was just a joke. Kinlaw's the guy who uh, carried around the squirrel in his mouth. Very intimidating man. B-Money says, you need to ask Josh Rosen about the hot tub he had in his dorm room his freshman year go Bruins. I'm pretty sure if I asked him about that, he would shut down the interview right away. Not the best moment of Josh Rosen's, Rosen's career. I think people still hold it against him. But anyway, thank you. Hold on. Lucas says, Lowell, do you think the Niners should give Grant a jersey number and retire it? <laughs> you guys are silly. You guys are I think they silly. should make him quality control and pay him a nickel. I think I'll keep my job. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. That's a you lot of a work for job. a nickel. Yeah, I, I really like my job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. Did you see that that video I made yesterday about uh, about how it feels to be the number one beat writer and and my little story about Robert Sala? Did you, did you see that? Was that where he told you to do videos? Yeah, I loved it. You like that? I did. And you know what, Iggy? I liked the video you did on that. You can't be boring. What'd you think of that one? Oh, God, I loved it. And here's the thing, uh, people who are watching, I really believe that as a writer, and Iggy believes that he's more of a performer than I was because he does videos. You you can't be boring. You can't sit there and go, you know, one thing that you left out about boring. What? I'm going to tell you. Okay. And, and this kills me when I read game stories after a night yeah, yeah. game, and there's a lot of statistics. Iggy, statistics? Yeah. Statistics. I mean, oh. you got to have some statistics. How many yards did he throw for? But I'm telling you, there's a lot of statistics that you can live it out. And when I'm reading an article and all of a sudden the statistics, you the next time the statistics, yeah. it's like, yeah. I want to die. There has you go to from be reading a, to skimming. <laughs> right. Because Iggy, there has to be a story about human beings, not numbers. There has to be a visual. A description. got to be visual. Yeah. Because these, these are visual art forms, what they're doing. And there has to be an attempt at the beginning of the video or the article to hook you. If they don't even try and they're just like, this is my book report on the game. Here's what I thought happens. Like, no, no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not wasting my time. And there's way too much of that. They just take for granted your uh, attention span. 
I don't That's have right. one. That's right. Like, for example, today, yes. we talked for 46 minutes yes. at so many decibels. That's right. There were X number of people watching. That's right. The temperature was so-and-so. There was a breeze in the Oakland Hills. It's like, give, uh, here's the other thing. Good yeah. writing. And Elmore Leonard, this was his first rule of good writing. You yeah. never start with the weather. Ever. And Ever. in his case, what he said is you want to get the gun into the first paragraph. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't want to wait until the second paragraph to mention the gun. That's got to be out in the first paragraph. Yeah. That's more of a metaphorical uh, strategy for us, but the same principle. 